waiting for classes to start um, at 11 o'clock right now it is 10 25 we have a guest speaker today his name is George oh yeah there he is right there he's gonna be making a piece for us today so I'm so excited to see that and I decided that I'm gonna do vlogging every day of February since it is my birthday month I figured that'd be really cool something like vlogmas and yeah, I'm gonna try to stick with it. I'm gonna try not to be late. I'm gonna try to have it on time. Hopefully by a certain time of day or the evening every day. But I won't promise that. I'm just gonna try and promise every day of February. Since again, it is my birthday month. My birthday is the very last day of February. So it's kind of a tease. I have to wait until the very last day after this class. I don't have a class again until five. So I'll probably head to the student center, just get some reading done for another class um, that I have to go to. Not that class that I'm going to before another class because I have a quiz tomorrow um, in my lodging operation class and I have three chapters to read. So I'm not too worried about it, but it needs to get done. So that's what I'm gonna do in between that time and I will just see y'all later. He's doing the workshop. Most importantly, uh, the hook skip, the famous pottery bar. So I'm going to be throwing things, and then tomorrow I'm going to put things together and finish them. Um, so this morning, this is us. When I do workshops, is this a two hour class? It's a two hour, 50 minute class. Oh, yeah, great. So when I travel, I mean, when I. When I do workshops, I like to make this chip and dip bowl. I mean, I don't even use a chip and dip bowl, but it's sort of like a piece of sculpture. So I, I think maybe I won't get to that, finish it today, but that's, that's what that is. The era, man, and the funk era. Yeah. So it was a show, y'all have heard of American Bandstand, right? I mean, that's like from the 60s. This is the black American Bandstand. It was fantastic. So it was a show they would invite people on there. I mean, some famous singer, and then and every, all the people that were on the show, they all danced. That was the program. So I'm calling this the Love Train Tour, as opposed to the Soul Train Tour. <laughs> but I love soul music, and I love funk music. I mean, I always make that chip and dip bowl because I'll decorate it with color and I'll write in there, you know, dedicated and all that kind of stuff. But for some reason, when I was driving down the road, I thought of punch bowl. And then, I mean, I just thought of this goofy thing with these goof, three goofy legs and this thing looks like a wash tub. Mm -hmm. And so I got to make that thing. Like, I have to make it. The problem I have is I wish that thing were taller. That joint to me is really important because that kind of helps determine the profile. I'm, I'm rambling. I'll show you. I'm, I'm going to work it out. What do you think? It'll be whatever it is, okay? And I said 
this to another class. In America, we work on the right-hand side. In Asia, they work over here, and the wheel goes the other way. Did y'all know that? No, it's nothing, it's not even physics. It's something of tradition, I can't remember. You're working, the clay's coming this way, you're squeezing. That's why throwing happens. It means, it's simple. But when I have, you know, more than, you know, 15 pounds of clay, I do part of that over here on the other side because I can, it seems to move more clay going against the grain with this. So that's why I do this. I think the shape I'm making is not, I hope I can save it. It's a little bit too much like this. I wish it would have been more like this, but now um, it's done. I'm not ashamed to say that. <laughs> With a torch, I could change this. Mm -hmm. Do you want to use a torch? Well, I think because that one is the shape, maybe this is going to be more bulbous than tall, than cylindrical. Hmm. That's what I think. Okay. Well, you got you got my mistake on YouTube. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh oh, I, I have a filthy mouth. Actually, it's not filthy, but I, I like to cut them. But I should be doing this. <laughs> I, I mean, I apologize for the. I said two cuss words. I think I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not joking. I, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm sorry it's going to happen again. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the tools I'm, I use, I'm, I've made myself. Wait a minute. Oh shoot. Wait a minute. I well, I have that. Mm. When I'm doing a workshop and I need to make a hole in a pot, the only tool I ever use is this tool by Billy Van Gilder, a good friend of mine. It's the best hole tool made. Billy Van Gilder. I don't make those tools. So what I'm gonna make is, it's fundamentally a dog bowl. I'm gonna give you my opinion. I think coming to watch somebody work, this part may be interesting, but it isn't the most important. It's who, I'm just gonna say me, it's who the person is. You know, how they speak to you, how they treat you, what they talk about, what their feelings are. I think that's the most, at least to me, I think that's the most important part. Because, I mean, everybody's a potter. You can see anybody make work. But I think maybe the most important thing is, like, who I am. That's what I think. is you're going to have an audience. I think Martha has a huge audience. You know, I instance, have a small audience. It's not one's better than the other. It's because of what you make. But I think that people are drawn to figurative work and decorative work. But also, <clears throat> I don't think people want to be challenged. The marketplace doesn't want to be challenged about the work. See, what do you want to see? I mean, you want to see some, what? What? Did somebody say something? It's a teapot. I, I'll make the parts. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, but that won't be put together till tomorrow. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Y'all, y'all haven't asked one question. I have a question. Okay. Are Sorry. You, Go ahead. I just wanted to ask, um, being that we're beginning ceramic students, we don't have the luxury of using the potter's wheel, so are there any specific techniques that we should take away or probably appreciate more, um, being that we use our hands and not the potter's wheel? Are there any specific things that... When I put that presentation base together, I handle that 
hand building process, the same as my throwing process. Not in an academic or technique oriented fashion. Okay. So if you were to see me put that thing together, you'll see that I use the same process. It's, it's not perfect and it's not academically inclined. Okay. So I, I'm not sure how to answer your question. So I'm going to say this. This is what I told the grad students yesterday. This is my opinion. I'm not telling you to do it. It's just my opinion. That being in school is the time to try everything you want to try. Even better in grad school when you have more freedom is the, I mean, it's like being in the womb. You'll never have that chance again. So that's the time to try everything and do everything and don't hold back. So another statement is I believe the university attendance should be a time of dissent. You ask questions and you demand answers. But you also you ask those questions about everything, life and politics, everything, not just your instructors. The third thing is in general, in your own work, don't worry about anything, don't hold back, try everything. Those, to me, those are all combined. Do whatever the hell you want to do. And don't be afraid. Yeah. So I'm going to roll the lip of this about that much. I'm going to roll it over to make that little thing called the gallery where the lid sits. I'm going to roll it over my finger. Nous avons développé la vitesse pour nous enfermer en nous-mêmes. Notre savoir nous a fait devenir cyniques. Nous sommes inhumains à force d'intelligence.